people who have taken an ancestry DNA test and accidentally uncovered a family secret, what was it? A full 100% older brother. My mother got pregnant by my father before they were married. So, with my father's knowledge of the situation, mom left town and lived with my aunt until the birth. Mom gave the baby up for adoption and then returned home. A couple years later, she married my dad and had three more children together, including me. Fifty-five years later, after both my parents had died, my aunt let it slip that me and my siblings that were not the only children of our parents. To paraphrase from Star Wars, there is another. My sister took a DNA test, and a couple of years later she got a hit. Soon thereafter, we met our new big brother and his family, wife, kids, and have become quite close. Found out I have a different father. My dad also took a DNA test at the same time and found out his father, of 52 years, was not his biological father either. As it turns out, I come from a line of bastards. My male cousin did one and found a female cousin we did not know about. He reached out to her and apparently our deceased uncle was good friends with her mother. Mom wanted a baby so uncle got her pregnant simply as a sperm donor. Female cousin lived a few blocks away from my grandmother. She had met her a few times going around selling Girl Scout cookies or something. My grandmother had no idea that she was buying cookies from her granddaughter. A friend discovered that her father was not really her father. Her mom had an affair, and she was the result. It tore her family apart. Her father did not know he was not really her father. Note, she was 45 years old when this happened. I can understand the fallout with the mom slash wife over the affair, secret, etc. But did her father end up treating your friend any differently after that? Yes, he basically stopped talking to her. She was very hurt by that. I don't know that he ever started talking to her again. He was always a bit distant, but he just stopped their relationship. On the flip side, my dad used to say my mom slept around and none of the three of us were his kids. Welp, thanks to the test. We know all three of us are. Not me, but a friend never knew who his father was. Mom had a weekend fling in college and never contacted the guy after, and his wife helped him to try and track him down. My friend reached out and the guy was obviously surprised, but flew across the country to meet him. They have a great relationship now, the dad attended his wedding, and they tried to get their families together a couple times a year or so. A woman over in Chicago decided to find out who her real parents were. She was getting close to 60 and realized that there may not be much time left to find her father. So through the magic of ancestry she was matched to my grandfather. She seeched out to him and told him who her mother was. He didn't recognize the name but dug up his little black book and lo and behold, there she was. So now I've got a new aunt. My real father and three half-siblings. It ended up being a really good discovery. Had a great uncle who learned he had a son from his teenage years that he never knew about. Luckily he was able to meet him before he passed away. My wife is adopted, but found her bio mom, and did one of the genetic tests. Someone matched with her and asked if she knew such and such a name. She found out her bio mom's husband wasn't the bio dad, it was the bio mom's boss. Oops. I was adopted and always knew I was adopted. My parents told me that I came from a family that had already had all of their kids. They lived several towns over. I was a surprise. Three years ago my wife decided to take some DNA tests. I figured what the heck? Maybe I'm part Zulu warrior. That'd be cool. When the test came back, I found out I had a first cousin. They had listed a public email. I emailed them, started comparing notes, and wham! I was in for quite a surprise. First, I was not born into a traditional family. Instead, my bio mom was single. Second, I was not a late addition. I had four sisters and one brother. I was the baby, but only by a couple of years. Third, most all of them lived nearby. Finally, nobody knew I was alive. My biological mom had passed. She had kept the pregnancy secret from everybody else. Before she died, she had confided in one of my bio sisters that she had a baby a long time ago, and she had put the baby up for adoption. She told nobody else. When my sister told the rest of the family, they didn't believe her. So when I finally looked them up, she was like, See, all those years, I told you so. We have a baby brother. 
It was an amazing experience. I had no idea what I was getting into when I sent that DNA test off. My aunt discovered that her mother cheated on her father, and she was a product of that affair, meaning she was actually only half-siblings with her four siblings. The rub was that my aunt's husband was married before he married her. The woman he was married to is the daughter of the man involved in the affair. So no one knew this, but my uncle got divorced and then married his ex-wife's half-sister. I guess he has a type. So, I did the health DNA 118 months ago because I wanted to see if I had the breast cancer gene, as there is several incidences on both sides of my family. Got my results and became very confused. It claimed I had no Italian despite my father's grandma literally coming over from Sicily. It took me a few minutes to realize what that actually meant. My parents have been together since my mother was 14, I was born when she was 17, and my father joined the military and married my mother. Called my mom and she literally said, That's interesting. Then she asked me not to talk to my father, and she would explain everything the next time I visited. She did not, and just refused I talk about it. Honestly, I was just shook. I did not see it coming and it was never even presented to be a possibility to me. My sister ended up doing a DNA test, and it showed that we were half-siblings. I went no contact with my mother four months ago, due to this incident and several others. I haven't told my dad but I realize at some point the truth is going to come out. My sister matched with some of my father's relatives while I did not so if anyone checks that shit, they're gonna be asking questions. That my father is a registered sex offender, parents are divorced. I found a half-sister that none of my siblings or mother knew about. My dad had an affair 50 years ago, he's dead now. For us it wasn't really a surprise, we already have a half-sister from another affair but for the newly discovered one it answered a lot of questions and gave her some needed closure. We all met a few times, it was pleasant. I have an uncle that was put up for adoption. He contacted my grandma and she thought he was going to extort her, they're well off. Turns out he's a multi, multi-millionaire on his own. They still have limited contact, though my dad has reached out and formed a relationship. Apparently they look exactly alike and have the same personality, which sounds kind of stupid now that I'm writing it out, but they're only half-siblings. My deeply racist backwoods Mississippi family had an African in it six generations ago. My grandma is about 5% African. My bio dad left his family and two daughters in Washington and married my mom in Los Angeles five weeks later. I found his first marriage certificate but nothing about a divorce. I'm pretty sure he was a bigamist. I took a DNA test and found I am ethnically 25% Jew. After eight months of serious digging, I found out my grandpa, my father's dad, is not my father's biological father. I have since came into contact with my half-uncle. He's super nice and I enjoy chatting with him. I loved learning about my bio-grandpa and the rest of the family. We haven't told them and don't plan on it. I have a small family so it was such a great comfort to connect with more. Family. Understand my lineage and the history of my Jewish ancestors. Really a lovely experience. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.